My name is Frederick Brennan. I'm 19 years old. I am a computer programmer and I live in Brooklyn, New York. I have osteogenesis imperfecta, which is a bone condition. It's uh, commonly known as brittle bone disease. There's lots of different severity types. I'm somewhere in the middle of severity. Like there's more severe cases where, you know, you actually die. Like, and then there's like a bit less severe where, uh, you know, you're okay, but you can't do anything for yourself. Like you need constant attention because, you know, even trying to get out of bed will cause you to break a bone. So I'm somewhere in the middle of severity. I've broken my bones 120 times in my life. It's fortunate because a lot of people with my condition, they can't get out of bed. They can't use the toilet or take a shower by themselves. Most of my breaks were when I was a little kid, uh, you know, just doing normal stuff. Spend a lot of time, you know, doing somewhat dangerous things. Like cooking is not really safe for me because, you know, a, bottle, a, a pan of boiling water is about as big as I am. So I have to be really careful when I'm cooking not to spill it on myself. I eat the most unhealthy diet. It's really bad. I wish I had an aid. When I was a kid, uh, there wasn't a whole lot I could do, you know, like kid activities. You know, I had a couple choices as far as entertainment goes. You know, I could read, I could watch television, or I could, you know, go on the computer. I first got my first computer when I was six, and I got my next computer a couple years later, which I had just for me. It was like an old desktop computer. And I literally sat at that machine all the time. When I was 13, I wrote my first uh, computer program by myself. Naturally, I moved, you know, onto web design and things like that. It's 10.45, Aaron's about to come for a meeting that we have to talk about our projects. I'm Aaron Parnas. I own a small business marketing firm, which uh, does small business for online, online retailers. Frederick is our lead programmer. Uh, I was talking with Frederick last summer, um, you know, about him giving me more hours, giving me more time, and I offered him, you know, the opportunity of moving from Atlantic City, you know, into his own apartment in New York City, and, and you know, he jumped at that idea, and he said, yeah, you know, if, you, if I'd be able to arrange that, he'd be able to come work for me full time. Working with Frederick, it's, it's just been such a, a, a different experience. You know, but the fact that he's disabled makes him a, even a better worker because, you know, he's not running away in there and who knows what. You know, he's, he's dedicated, he's here, I know I could always find him here. And he is, you know, he'll work sometimes 12 hours a day. He'll, he even told me once he stayed up all night working on, the, on a project. Do you need anything? What do you uh, do? No, I pretty much have everything. Have everything? Okay. Yeah, I had groceries. Behind the keyboard, it doesn't matter that physically, you know, my body doesn't work properly. Everybody is the same, you know, behind the keyboard, as long as you can use the keyboard. I work two jobs. I work, one job is with my boss, Aaron. Aaron pays for the rent here. That's $1,300 per month. I don't ever see that money because he's the tenant here, so he just pays for the rent. And one job is for a company in Canada. Uh, the company in Canada, they pay me uh, $1,030 per month, $30 of which is PayPal fees, and 15% uh, of which goes to taxes. Hello, my name is Frederick Brennan. I'm just calling to see um, when the nurse is going to be here to help me with my intake. It's been, oh, around a month. I believe I first called you guys in January or December. Okay, sure. I'm going to look into that. Can I place your hold for a second? Sure. Thanks. As part of my medical coverage, I am entitled to an aid. Uh, I only make, you know, after taxes in, like, actual salaried income, like $800 per month. And, you know, out of that comes all my expenses. Okay, so it seems like a nurse from Revival is supposed to be giving you a call today. Oh, today? Okay. Yes. All right, well, I'll keep my phone on. It's almost five, okay. but we'll see. Okay, thank you. No problem. If somebody doesn't call back by the end of the day, you can call back in the morning, okay? Yep, I will. Thank you. No problem. Have a great day. Yep, you too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Fat chance of that happening. That's like the second time I've been told somebody's going to call today. <laughs> That's always their same line, that somebody's gonna call you today, the nurse will call you today, or the nurse will call, you know, oh, you know, tomorrow. But the nurse has been supposed to call for a month. I actually would like to go to the city today to run some very important errands, but unfortunately, um, with Accessoride, you need to book it 24 hours in advance. So the only way I could get into the city is to try to ride the subway out in the cold, there's too much snow. So that's not going to happen. 
Um, so I'm going to be booking that for tomorrow. Hello, this is Frederick Brennan. I'm trying to book a trip for tomorrow. I don't get a lot of chance to go into Manhattan. It's really tough with the wheelchair. We're going to run some errands and stop by a medical supply store. I need my wheelchair joystick fixed. It was really loose. I really need to replace the reachers that I have. Um, one of them is bent, one of them the magnet is missing. I have very short arms. I can't really reach down and pick things off the floor when they fall. I can't really reach up and get things out of the cupboards. I use them all the time. Now the super of this building did something very annoying. He put a weight on this door. Like I swear they try to make it harder for me sometimes. So this door is now heavier than ever before. Yeah, this is the final boss as far as this building is concerned. Oh, shit. Oh, Axis Ride is calling me. They're probably out here. Son of a bitch. Yeah, we're three minutes late. We probably missed them. You have to be here, you know, whatever the weather, whatever's going on, and it's up to you to find the driver's van. Uh-huh. There we go. If you miss three trips in a month period, they actually suspend your service. This service is actually for people with disabilities. So you would think that they would be a little more understanding and they would call you on your phone and, you know, they would try to, you know, like make sure that you get on your van if possible. One, two, three, up, 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 I was saving up, you know, all my extra income for two years to try to buy a new wheelchair that would be better for me. Uh, this one, it has an electrical problem, like sometimes it'll stop and not go anymore. How often do I replace them? I break about one of these a month. Uh, pretty much, yeah. They, just by, you know, use, like I said, they just don't last. I don't think that they're built for um, my kind of use case. Well, the bracket's bent, and I think that's causing the screw to get stripped because it's not going through the threading properly. Right. Like you said, hopefully, this chair is going to be donated pretty soon. Yeah. That's the best you're going to get. Okay. Thanks for the help. Sure. I needed my wheelchair joystick fixed. It was really loose. Um, and we needed to replace some of the reachers that I have and that I use at home. Unfortunately, uh, our taxi that was supposed to take us back, you know, a couple blocks to get to where Accessoride is going to take me the rest of the way, um, that is now running over an hour late. So uh, I missed Accessoride. I've been penalized for that, you know, because I wasn't at, you know, the stop where um, they would pick me up at the right time. So now um, we're waiting, hopefully, for the cab to come. So this is why I usually don't come out to the city, because I just have tons of problems whenever I do. Something that would, for most people, be completely normal. It's actually pretty risky for me to leave the apartment, so I usually don't. I actually think, you know, in comparison to people, like other people that work and are in poverty, you know, I'm lucky in that I do get some support from the government and I do have money left over at the end of the month. I, most people, you know, they don't have the luxury of even having, you know, $20 per day left over. Uh, they don't have any money left at the end of the day. And I know lots of people like that who are in debt, left to choose, you know, between the bills that they pay. My goal would be, you know, to have more time to do things like traveling. I do like to travel. I do want to develop the projects that I have. Other disabled people, you know, they don't have the skill that I have with the computer. Everybody is the same behind the keyboard.